Are you looking for a way to stand out of a crowd in the streaming community? Well, I got something for you. It's called voice commands and Sammy has it. We're going to set it up right now. Hey everyone, my name is Jay and welcome to Turner Stormer Studios. Today we're going to set up some voice commands for your Sammy so that your stream can be even more unique than ever. You can have something like, Hey Sammy, share discord as easy as that so the first step we need to do is make sure that you have a microphone hooked up to your computer afterwards we have to go into microsoft settings and find speech recognition so what you should do is go into this windows search bar and type in speech it should be the first thing that comes up windows speech recognition you go and open that up what will happen is this application will pop up on the top of your window for Sammy voice you don't you don't need to have this open you just needed to enable it so once you have Windows speech recognition program all set up go ahead and open up Sammy on the left hand side you're gonna see Sammy voice you're gonna simply click on that a window will pop up the status will be inactive and you will have no triggers go to you go to your settings tab if you want this to listen on start then click that off I would recommend raising your confidence level. I believe it's 75% on default. This just helps reduce false pauses when you're talking. Over at the connections tab, leave the first two fields alone and then add a password if you wish. If you are going to add a password, make sure you go over to settings and make sure it's the same password in your API settings. After that, you can go over the triggers tab. You can add the words that you want to create a trigger. You have to do all these changes before you start listening. Once you start, once you start listening, you can't, you can't change anything. So you're all good to go. You got Sammy voice set up. You're ready to rock. But first we got to set up your trigger to your buttons so that when you go, Hey, Sammy share discord. It will work. So I just added this trigger, turn off voice, and we're just going to push start listening. And then we're going to go into the command stack here I have. You're going to see a bunch of buttons. The Discord button is the one we've been triggering throughout this video. But we're going to create a new button that will tr that will trigger the Sammy voice off. Say if it's having a bad day uh, and, or you don't want it on, you can just say turn off and then it will turn it off. So first thing you do is right click, create button. And then you can change the appearance the way you 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 would like it to be. Uh, one one pro tip from me is whatever button I create, I always go into settings, and you see how it says ID four. I would change it, change the name. So this way, when you're diagnosing an issue, you know which button is being triggered. You're not looking for a number. Uh, then we go into triggers. And then we're going to add a trigger. So, basically, we added the word turn off to Sammy voice. So, it knows to push it out. But it doesn't know where to push it to right now. That's what we're going to fix right now. Basically, we're going to say we're going to add a Sammy voice and we're going to say turn off voice. So now, now the Sammy voice knows where this trigger is going to. And the last thing we need to do is edit commands. This is the meat and the potatoes of a button. So we click the plus sign and then you can type in voice and this is a simple single command and that's all we need to do save okay and save make sure you always save so now when I say voice uh, turn off voice turn off voice it actually turned it turned off Sammy for you now you can't you can't turn it back on. You may be able to use a button, a physical button, or you have to go in and open up the Sammy voice. But there you go. And there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We set up your Sammy voice. We've created a button. And remember, you can put whatever you want in the meat and potatoes of that button. Just have to get a trigger.
from your Sammy voice. If you like the content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want, you can see more videos like this. All right, I'll see you at the next one.